Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here for a special President's Day card. We get 10 exciting races on tap. Let's take a look at those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm, a first race on the turf at one mile. It's a maiden claiming event for maiden fillies and mares, four-year-olds and up, and one uh, weight correction. Carson Sullivan, now a seven-pound apprentice to weight 116 pounds. They're off. Sophia Leonor has stepped slow out of the gate. Foxy Exchange and Alondra Sky come out the best, and there's nobody's a saint now. Moving up alongside of Alondra Sky, these two will go at it early, and Foxy Exchange will sit third. And then it's Boston Garden on the far outside, followed by Geeg's Miracle down toward the inside. Nice to Regal and Sophia Leonor, after a tardy beginning, is racing eight lengths off the lead. The top two go at it. It's Alondra Sky on the inside, and nobody's a saint on the outside. They went 23 and four for the opening quarter mile and they've opened up a six length lead on Foxy Exchange as they race onto the back stretch. It's two lengths more back to Geek's Miracle just to the outside of Nice to Regal. Then Boston Garden and Sophia Leonor has got 10 lengths to make up as the top two continue to race together on the lead. Alondra Sky by a neck. On the outside, nobody's a Saint second. A half mile and 47 and two fifth seconds. They've got a five length edge on Foxy Exchange. Geeg's Miracle and slipping through on their inside is Nice to Regal who now takes up the chase from third and they're closing in on the front runners now. Boston Garden is next and Sophia Leonor is strongly in hand and behind traffic. Looks to have plenty of run but no place to go. Now it's gonna come to the inside as Alondra Sky turns for home in front. The main threat appears to be so Sophia Leonor, who is now moving up alongside of Nice to Regal, battling for second, but in the meanwhile, Alondra Sky is kicked away. Nice to Regal is next, and Sophia Leonor is coming up a bit empty in third, final 16th. Alondra Sky still going strong. Alondra Sky and Jose Osorio Jr. win it over Nice to Regal, Sophia Leonor, and Geeks Miracle. Alondra Sky wins the Monday President's Day opener for Karina Stable, trained by Manny Espor, ridden to victory today by 10-pound apprentice Jose Osorio Jr. Second race, a six furlong sprint on the fast main track. It's a claiming event for Philly three year olds. Six runners going to the post. The off time favorite, number six, La Marquise. They're off. You Lie is going to the front. La Marquesse on the outside. Solitary coming up the rail, and You Never Learn is right up there, too. Then Golden Friendships and Scripture and Verses last. Solitary and Paco Lopez sent to the front up the backstretch. You leading You Lie by a half a length with You Never Learn in tight third on the inside. No place to go there. Then Golden Friendships on the far outside is La Marquesse and Scripture and Verses close, too. The first quarter mile in 23 seconds flat around the far turn, solitary on the rail. You lie on the outside, matching strides on the lead. Then you never learn to the inside. Followed by Golden Friendship, Scripture and Verse, and the favorite La Marquesse is not going on here. La Marquesse is last and losing ground to the leaders. And now it is you lie, turning for home in front. On the inside comes Solitary in second, then Golden Friendships, and You Never Learn to the outside. La Marquesse is being eased at the eighth pole, and it is You Lie. On top as they come down to the wire, and Dylan Davis and You Lie will win. It's Golden Friendships edging out Solitary for second. You Never Learn was fourth. Number four, You Lie slips through on the inside to win it for Simone Stables, trained by Ronnie Spatz, ridden to victory today by Apprentice Dylan Davis will take a short break and be back for the third race in just a minute. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more race tracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. 
The OBS March two-year-old sale is the grade one source to the world with undefeated juvenile champion Asia Express in Japan, grade one juvenile stakes winners by Conquestadore, Secret Compass, and Bond Holder, King's Bishop winner Capo Bastone, and Breeders' Cup Sprint winner Secret Circle in North America. Make plans to find your next grade one winner at the OBS selected two-year-old sale, March 10th and 11th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Welcome back to third race, a six furlong sprint. Some maiden claiming event for a maiden three-year-old. Six runners going to the post with no scratches or jockey changes to report. They're off. Kid Pachongo out for the lead. Unleash the talent is away in second and then comes Devil's Peak to the outside. And now here this is fourth along the rail. Four lengths off the lead early. Three lengths more back to Spellbreaker. Bright Promise is last up the backstretch as Kid Pachongo leads the way at 40 to 1. On top by a length and a half, Unleash the Talent, the favorite is second. Devil's Peak edging up alongside third by two. Now hear this, break of another four back to Spellbreaker and Bright Promise. Around the far turn, Kid Pachongo continues to lead the way. And the one to five choice, Unleash the Talents, three quarters of a length behind. Now hear this, two and a half lengths off of them, and then Devil's Peak. They're coming toward the top of the stretch, and Kid Pachongo still on top, drifting out through the stretch. On the outside is Unleash the Talent, who now goes on by, as now hear this comes up the rail. Now Unleash the Talent, and Dylan Davis have the lead, but now hear this comes on through and takes over. Now hear this, will defeat Unleash the Talent. And that it was Bright Promise and Kid Pachongo. Now hear this, the number one, now hear this, wins the third race for Adam and Suzette Parker and Sam Nick Stable, trained by Steve DeMar, ridden the victory today by Orlando Boca Chica. We're sprinting at five furlongs of five-eighths of a mile in the fourth race. It's an allowance optional claimer with seven runners in the field. The off-time favorite, the inside horse, number one, free as a bird. They're off. Perfect package, what a party, and on the inside, free as a bird, out for the early lead, and in between those two, Val Verdina, and then it's Laser Cat, followed by Tatty's Gold, far behind is the real McCoy. And the field runs into the far turn, where it's what a party, leading perfect package, three quarters of a length. They're clear two and a half from Val Verdina, Laser Cat, then the favorite, free as a bird, who's fifth on the inside, racing five lengths off the lead. On the far outside, beginning to move up as they round the far turn is Tatty's Gold. Moving in company with Free as a Bird. They're both gaining ground now at the top of the stretch. What a party off the turn in front. Free as a Bird kicks it in on the outside. Perfect package fights on between horses. Laser Cat is next. They still have to catch. What a party. What a party by three. Free as a Bird closing on the outside. What a party holding on. Free as a Bird still coming. What a party. Holds on from Free as a Bird. Then Perfect package and laser cat number six what a party celebrates at the finish line owned by bridal path racing stable incorporated trained by eddie plisa jr and ridden to victory today by our leading rider javier castellano we're going to stretch it out to one mile and one sixteenth on the turf for our fifth race a claiming event phillies and mares four-year-olds and up which have never won three races in life jockey change on the four make the rider sweet Girl. They're off. Balaroja hesitated a bit coming out of there. A great start for Monero. Monero and Edgar Zayas fast out of the gate, and they're going to open up early to lead a length and a half from Snitfit and Appella's Wonder to the outside. Then it's Sweet Gator Girl, who came out running in fourth, followed by Hankering, then Double Berg and slow starting Balaroja is 11 lengths off of Monero, who leads the way into the turn. Monero on top by almost two lengths. And then it's Snitfit, Appella's Wonder to the outside, three and a half back to Sweet Gator. 
Gator Girl hankering is after that. And then Doubleberg and Balaroja. The first quarter was fast. It was 22 and 3 fifth seconds. On to the back stretch they go where Monero leads the way. Setting a solid early tempo here. The lead a length and a half to Snit Fit and Appella's Wonder. It's four lengths more back to Sweet Gator Girl. Doubleberg makes a middle move just to the inside of her now. Takes fourth, still with five and a half lengths to make up. Then it's Hankering and Balaroja, and they went 46 and 2 for the first half mile. Monero on top all the way. Leads it by two into the turn to Appella's Wonder in Snitfit. Doubleberg is in fourth, gaining some ground in behind them. And now angling to the outside is Balaroja needing some running room. Farther out, Hankering caught very wide there. And then comes Sweet Gator Girl, three quarters in 110 and three. They're into the stretch. And Monero has run off to a four length lead on Doubleberg. They've left the others behind, but Doubleberg is catching Monero stride for stride double berg draws up next to monero and double berg goes on by double berg and bravo to beat monero balaroja was third hankering fourth number one double berg comes flying late to catch the speed and scores for dj stable llc trained by joe orsino ridden to victory today by joe bravo We'll take a break and be back for the sixth race in just a few moments. Point of entry's taken the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here and point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry. A five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sire's Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Bessie Lou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. The sixth race, five furlongs on the turf. It's an allowance optional claimer for four-year-olds and upward. Scratch number five, Buongiorno Johnny, and scratch the main track only, number nine, Harbor Breeze. They're off. P.D. Kramer off slowly. Starship Wildcat to the front, fast time alongside Mishmash outside of them. These three for the front, and Matar's away running in fourth, two lengths off of them. Then Padilla, Petey Kramer is out of last after an awkward start. Texas Wrestler is at the back of the field as they move into the far turn. And fast time is in front. On the inside is Starship Wildcat, Mishmash on the outside. These two surround that front runner. They went 22 and 1 for the first quarter. Then it's Padilla. Matar's got five lengths to make up. Then Texas Rustler and Petey Kramer, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. Mishmash and Starship Wildcat kick on from fast time. Padilla is closing, trying to straighten out. Now third and gaining ground on the leaders. And then comes Texas Rustler. It is still Starship Wildcat and Mishmash holding on. Starship Wildcat's got it from Mishmash, Starship Wildcat. Mishmash second, then Padilla, and Texas Rustler. Number one, Starship Wildcat springs the upset, pays $20.20 to win, owned by Starship Stables, trained by Steve Dwoska, ridden a victory today by Juan Leva. The seventh race, one mile on the firm turf course. It's an allowance race for fillies and mares, four-year-olds and upward. Scratch the main track only horse, number 10, Oasis at midnight. They're off. Apologize on the far outside. Why Catherine and Sassy Kitten away running in third from the rail. Behind them is Adriani in fourth, and then comes Auntie Martha fifth as they move for the turn. Then Dauphine Roos to the inside, five lengths off the lead. Zipso Factos three wide out there, clear from Implied, and the trailer is Pyrite Smokin'. 
Eight lengths separates the entire field, and on the lead, it's Apologize, who ran a quarter and 24 and one-fifth seconds. Leads at three-quarters of a length, Adriani second, Why Catherine third, then to the outside, it's Sassy Kitten. Dauphine Rue steady just a bit on that turn and is now five lengths off the lead in fifth. Then comes Auntie Martha, implied to the inside, Zipso Facto, and Pyrite Smokin. And the field continues their way up the back stretch. Apologize up top. Leads it by a length to Adriani in second. And then comes Y. Catherine third. They went 48 and four for a half mile. Then Sassy Kitten. Dauphine Roo still about five behind at this stage. Then implied to the inside. A three wide anti Martha. Zipso facto second last and pyrite smoking around the far turn. Apologize, Adriani, Sassy Kitten coming up to them on the outside. Why Catherine, Dauphine Roos in behind horses. Auntie Martha's there on the outside. Final furlong. And here comes Adriani up and after the lead. Sassy Kitten down the outside. Inside, why Catherine, then Auntie Martha. Dauphine Roos did not go on. It's Sassy Kitten. Here comes Auntie Martha. Sassy Kitten over Auntie Martha at the wire and then came why Catherine and adriani number two sassy kitten scores for our leading owners ken and sarah ramsey trained by mike maker ridden to victory today by julian leparu the eighth race is five and a half furlongs it's a main event for state Red Phillies three year olds scratch the three harmony place. Also scratch number 13, Senora Jean. They're off. Florida Sun on the inside. Remarkable Teresa right alongside. The Spirit Within and Hello Rosie between them. These four out for the lead together. Discreetly Elusive came out running in fifth in behind them. Then it's My Novena to the outside. Sushan Harbor the Dream along the inside. In tight quarters just steadied. Then Distinct Diva. They're being followed by Cajun Sunrise. And at the back of the field, as they move around the far turn is Lou Costa. It's Florida Sun and Hello Rosie. 21 and four. The first First quarter. They're stride for stride on the lead. Three clear of remarkable Teresa, who's got another four on discreetly elusive in fourth as they come toward the top of the stretch. Florida Sun. Hello Rosie. Stride for stride on the lead. Hello Rosie on the outside. Florida Sun keeps on battling at the rail. Nose is apart at the eighth pole. And then comes discreetly elusive. Third closing in. So too is Cajun Sunrise on the far outside, who's coming strongly. Sushan is there. Harbor the Dream is coming up the fence. Here's Cajun Sunrise to beat discreetly elusive Sushan and Harbor the Dream. Number 12, Cajun Sunrise closes the spring to you jump set and pays $89.20 to win. Owned by William Shirley, trained by Stevie DeMauro, and ridden the victory today by Juan Leva. His second win on today's card. We'll take a short break and be back for the late daily double in just a minute. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet, your way to play. If you've got your crew in Miller Lite, you've got Miller time. It's Miller time! But what if one of your crew is Ken Jung? <laughs> Zoink! What's with the pig? Wait. No way! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I came straight from work. Man, this line's ridiculous. That's a joke. Ken! I'm that guy from that thing! <laughs> Give me one! Miller Lite. Man, hell no. Hey, wait! It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. The ninth race, a seven furlong sprint for allowance optional claimers, four year olds and upward, and we have six runners going to the post with no scratches or jockey changes in the race. They're off. Do 
Judy Blues and Integrity fire out fast to the early lead. Then Cosetti on the inside. Eight priorities away running in fourth position. On the loose again goes up on the outside and Plenty Elusive is taken to the back. Four lengths off the lead. It's Integrity in front. Cosetti joins the fray from the inside. Duty Blues is in between those two and these three are across the track. And then it's on the loose again. Eight priority right behind them and Plenty Elusive. 23 flat was the opening quarter as the field races up the back stretch and it is Cosetti on the rail on the far outside integrity duty blues between those two these three noses apart on the lead and then it's on the loose again and a priority who's down at the rail only a length and a half off the lead plenty elusives under a ride at the back and they went 45 flat for a half mile they're coming to the quarter pole integrity cosetti and duty blues and they're all going at it and a priority swings out four wide and they're into the stretch and it's integrity in front on the outside a priority comes on down toward the rail cosetti starts to give way it is now a priority rushing up outside of integrity on the inside cosetti continues to battle integrity's holding them all off integrity has won from cosetti a priority was third and then plenty elusive number six integrity scores for owner robert lapenta trained by chad brown ridden to victory by our leading rider javier castellano Tenth and final race is a five furlong turf sprint maiden claiming event for maiden four year olds and up with ten runners going to the post. The off time for the favorite number seven, so royal. They're off. Awkward starts for Iska and Classy. On the outside, I Want the Roses goes out to the early lead. Lofty Heart is away well. Underestimate me to the inside. And now moving up outside of horses, So Royal takes third. And So Royal heads up toward the top two. After that comes Upswell in between horses. Tangible Assets on the outside is next. Then Jerry with a G. Break of another three back to Isca. Esplendido to the inside and Classy. I want the roses on top after a 22 and three quarter leads it by a length and a half to upswell in second at the rail lofty heart is in third so royal follows in fourth and they're into the stretch and it's I want the roses I want the roses by two lofty heart trying to close in in second upswell is third and then comes so royal and underestimate meet me on the outside it's lofty heart lofty heart takes the lead and lofty heart goes on to win. And then it was I Want the Roses second, followed by So Royal, Upswell, and Underestimate Me. Number two, Lofty Heart scores for owners Susan and Jim Hill, trained by George Weaver, written a victory today by Paco Lopez. In the pick four today, four of four paid $6,418.35. The pick five, five of five, a very nice $46,028.50, four of five, Two sixty-four fifty to pick six. Couple of tickets paid eighty-eight thousand two hundred seventy-one dollars thirty-four cents. A carryover going into Thursday of one million forty-two thousand five hundred fifty-seven dollars and one cents. And that wraps up the Monday card. Remember, we're dark for live racing on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. We'll be back with ten exciting races on Thursday. Good night and good luck. <laughs>